In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a scan in and scan out timesheet in Excel. So here I have um, a week and uh, I, my start date is the 21st. Now it's starting with each day from Monday to Sunday. Now I'm doing this video on a Saturday. And so what it's going to do when I scan in, it's going to look for the Saturday on here. So let me show you. So let this, these are my employee numbers. These are my, the scan in numbers. And so let's, let's scan in um, again for zero one. Now, obviously you have a barcode scanner attached or lined up to, to entered values in this cell, but I'm just going to press enter to get it in there. And there it's gone and it's added the 940 here, which is a time that the last time for, so the in time was 937, the out time is 940, and it's added the total times here. So I have two hours and 12 minutes. So now if I scan in one here, so this 005, we can go, go control C and then we'll go here to enter it. And it's gonna put in 941 as a start time. And so, so what it's doing is every time, um, every time we put a new time in for that day, it's gonna unhide the row. And what I've done with these is I've grouped these rows. So if you click on the plus sign, then it opens up the five rows below, the five rows below to allow them to come in and out of the office or the facility six times in a day. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how I grouped them. So I'm going down to uh, row, uh, let's say 11, 111 here. And then I'm gonna type in um, TWO and I'm putting a barcode in uh, um, 2222. And then what I'm doing is I'm selecting the rows, the next five rows down. Okay, and then I go to my data tab and on the data tab, I select group here. And then, so then these rows are now grouped so I can press, click on this and it'll be grouped just like the other ones above here. And so now let me show you the code and how it works. So what I've done is I, I've declared a bunch of values here and I'm using this with a if so I'm doing it with active sheet. So you could copy this a thousand times and employee code is where my barcode is. And uh, that, that, that one's here. So if barcode is, is empty, then exit sub, and that just keeps you from getting hung up when it's not empty, when it's empty and something has changed to all on the sheet. So the employee code, if the employee code does not equal, then column equals three. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the date. So it's searching for the day on all of the dates that we have on the top of our sheet. And then when it finds the date in there, then it's going to find name. Now find name is if the employee code is not, is not blank, then set the range. It's searching for the employee code in the, um, it's searching for the employee code down here. And then, um, when it finds uh, the employee code, then row number equals range row. Now I've also defined row as row number because I'm trying to define the top, uh, the top number or the top row for this employee so I can put the total time in the, in the, in the right place. Now, what we're doing um, in the first one is that what we're doing is if the cell that we find, which is the row number and the column, the column is the date, and the row number is um, the employee number. Now, if um, if the in out time, so if the out time is full already, then what it's going to do is it's going to unhide a row and then start working on that one. So then, if it finds an empty cell for the in value, then it's going to put the time in there, and this is the format of the time, and then it's going to go to ND, which is at the end. 
Now, if the time is full, then it's going to offset and assume that this is an out time, and then it's going to um, put put the time in there, and then it's this is telling it the format. And now I'm going to call time. So if it's putting in a um, if it's putting in an out time, then we need to um, we need to calculate the time difference. And so then it has uh, defined uh, time in and time out. And then it's done the total of these two values is the time out minus the time in. And these are just formatting. And now um, I have an interim. Uh, uh, I'm calculating the interim for this particular piece of time and the number format and sales, sales row number and value equals total. Now what it's doing is it's going to R, remember we defined what the top row is for this, this employee and the number format for that one. And then we're going to R18 and we're adding whatever the total that we've calculated here to the value that we have in that cell. And so that's totaling up the time for the week. Now it's going back to where you scan in the barcode and um, it is making it blank. And then it's going to select that cell where the barcode scanned in so the next person can scan in. I will, of course, include all of the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.